The following is a demonstration of Cloud Stacking Plan. The first thing you'll do is enter in your email address as your username, and then you'll enter in your password and click Submit. Once logged into the system, it takes you to the property screen where you can create a new property. You can select from a drop down of existing properties, or you can search for properties by criteria, meaning address, city, state, zip, and then click Search. Once your properties are loaded, you'll see down below here that you have a few options of property detail, which gives you know, the basic details of the property, floors and suites, which gives you the opportunity to edit or add new floors and suites. Here you can enter uh, in, in the stacking plans where you can create a new stacking plan or manage existing stacking plans. Here is where you can manage any kind of listing activity about the property. And here is where you can manage any kind of tenant profiles that you may have created. And here is where you can delete the property from the system. We'll go ahead and start with property detail. Once inside property detail, you would enter in the name, the address, the city, state, and zip. You can enter things like property type, total square footage, you can put in any comments, and you can upload a picture of the building or your building logo or whatever you want. Down here you've got property contacts where you can maintain any kind of info based on important property contacts. Down here is where you have the opportunity to import existing data into the system. If you're an existing user of our stacking plan software, you can import your SPS files. If you have your floor and suite data on an Excel spreadsheet, if you format that spreadsheet per the sample that, that we provide here, you can also import that data right into your property and then you've got your floors and suites already built out for you. So once you've entered everything you have about your property, you would go in and you'd manage floors and suites. So I'll go ahead and click on floors and suites. Once inside floors and suites, I can go ahead and add new floors and I can enter, you know, once the floor is being created, I can actually enter how many uh, suites um, are on that floor and it basically you know will create you know X amount of suites for that particular floor but down here you can see the existing floors for the property the first thing that you have is the floor order this is the floor you know, th this is the order that the uh, floors will actually show on the stacking plan um, if you choose to put in a floor name you know this is optional if you put in a floor name it will show this as the floor name on the stacking plan if you leave it blank it's going to show your floor order as the floor floor name. Over here is where you manage your, you know, the uh, suites of the particular floor. And over here is if you want to go ahead and, and uh, delete the floor. If you delete the floor, it will also, you know, take these, you know, take these suites out as well. Um, so what we'll go ahead and do is we'll, it, we'll edit now an existing suite. So we'll go ahead and edit, uh, you know, Bank of America. And once that, you know, once you click on that, it takes you into the suite detail where you can, uh, you know, you, you can go ahead and edit this existing suite, or you can add a new suite, or you can uh, delete this suite, you know, from the system. So starting with the suite detail, you've got the square footage, you've got the suite number, um, you've got any description or comments that you want to, uh, you know, show, show about the suite. Over here is where you can associate, in, um, you know, a document, you know, with the particular suite. Um, a lot of our clients do use this, you know, to show a floor plan or something associated with that suite. Um, when you go ahead and you print your stacking plan, if you so choose, you can actually um, have this particular document show up as a link inside the stacking plan. So if you email it to somebody as a PDF, it actually is a live link that inside the stacking plan, they can click that link and it will actually pull up this document that you've, um, you know, that you've put against the suite. Down here gets into the tenant and lease detail. You know, the first thing you've got is, you know, tenant name and then you've got any kind of contact data. If this happens to be a vacant suite, you can just check, check that the suite is vacant and it will mark this as vacant. The name abbreviation, uh, basically what this is, this is very handy for our customers, you know, as far as internal stacking plans are concerned. In order to, in order to conserve space on the stacking plan, and sh you know, it, instead of showing the entire tenant name, I'll, you know, a lot of our clients choose to go ahead and just use an abbreviation you know, for that tenant name. Then you can enter in a business type. Now it gets into some of the lease things. You've got, you know, when the lease began, lease expiration, what type of lease it is, rate, you know, security deposit, bump and bump date, and you've got escalation and things along those lines. And then you've got any kind of lease, op lease options down here, and then you go, and hit, go ahead and hit save. All of the data in this area right here actually carries over to the stacking plan itself. So all of this data can actually be chosen, you know, you know to be shown or hidden from the stacking plan. The data that we see down here is more for reporting purposes only. This is more when you get into our reporting area as far as uh, you know, analyzing you know, things about your property. So you can enter things like 
um, you know, the term of the lease, sign date, you know, the, the uh, year one, a lease rate, things along those lines, and then you'd hit save. Um, down here is where you can actually archive suite detail about this particular suite. If you have a, if you have a current tenant that is going to be, you know, moving out and there's a new tenant that's actually coming in, what you would actually do is you would archive the suite for historical analysis and then you would go ahead and enter in all the data on the new tenant. So when you run a report and you want to see the analysis of this particular suite number, RET1, you can basically see all of the historical you know, data about the suite itself. So now that you've entered all of the floor and suite data you know, about your property, you can go ahead and manage stacking plans. So what I'll do is come to the top here and click on stacking plans. And it pulls, pulls the stacking plans for my particular property. As you can see, we have an existing one in there. If I wanted to create a new one, I could create. I could just click on New Stacking Plan, and it would create a create a default new stacking plan. But we'll go ahead and, and we'll click on on the existing stacking plan we see in the uh, in the list here. And inside the list, you've got all of the detail about the stacking plan. So you can give it a plan name, um, you can give it a title, and you've got plan notes. You can upload a logo or an image of the property that you want to show on the stacking plan itself. Over here are some options, you know, as far as how, how the stacking plan will appear. Here is the elements of data that you may choose to um, show or hide on the stacking plan itself. You've got name, square footage, suite, gross rent, you know, security deposit, abbreviation, all these things here. Here is that floor plan link that we talked about in the suite detail where if you choose to have this checked, if you've actually uploaded a document against the particular suite, it will show as a hyperlink inside the cell. And always click save after you enter or you know after you edit any any of your data. Down here is where you can actually format your stacking plan. So you can choose your suite order on the stacking plan, your your uh, default color scheme, your orientation if you want it to be portrait or landscape. You've got things like paper size, font size, uh, font color if you want it bolded or italicized, and of course you'll hit save. This over here is if you want to actually customize a particular cell on the stacking plan. So if you scroll down your stacking plan here, you'll see two hyperlinks at the end of the data. These two hyperlinks won't actually show when you print out the stacking plan. But when you're editing the stacking plan as they show, basically if you click on D, this will take you to an area where you can, you know, basically edit all of the data, you know, specific to that particular suite on the stacking plan. If you go ahead and click on my last stack, it takes you right back, you know, to where you were. Now what the F means at the end of a cell is F stands for format. If I were to click format, that takes me to my custom area over here where I can customize the, you know, the uh, look of that particular cell. So if I want to change my back color, say to a purple, and I wanted to set my font color, uh, say to a green, and I wanted to increase my font size uh, significantly, and say I wanted to bold it, and I also wanted to put in a cell note. If I enter in a cell note, and hit save, you know, basically that cell note is going to show at the bottom of, you know, of the suite cell. So I'll go ahead and put in test and hit save. So now if we go and look for Herman Miller, which, you know, which we'll see here, this is everything that we have, have, have uh, customized against this particular suite. If I want to get rid of my custom uh, formatting, I basically just check this box and hit clear now. And it basically takes everything and puts it back to the default. You know, which is based on what we've what, what we've chosen over here. So now that we've basically edited and changed everything about our stacking plan and we're happy with it, we can go ahead and print it out. So if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you've got the opportunity to print it to an HTML file, or you can print it to a PDF file. So if I click on Print to HTML, the stacking plan uh, actually uh, pops up um, in it in an HTML file. If I scroll back to the bottom here, and I print to PDF the stacking plan will actually pop up in a PDF format where I can send this to the printer or I can save it to my desktop and email it to someone, anything like that I want to do with it. So this is a quick overview of the Cloud Stacking Plan program. If you would like more of a detailed um, you know, overview or demonstration, um, you can go to our website and you can fill out the, con the, the uh, Contact Us page and we will set up a time you know, to take you through, through the system in more detail.